Hey, what's up everybody? Shea Pierre, Pierre's the Performance, and today we are using the Fit Light Training System, the number one cognitive tool, reaction device in the entire world that really will set you apart if you're looking to become that game-changing, electrifying, show-stopping athlete. And I'm gonna give you guys my top 10 reactional core drills, and I'm talking about this is gonna be literally game changing. This is gonna change the way that you guys train because it makes it not only fun, but it makes it really enjoyable and you really get competitive this with this. So you might do extra reps because you want, you're want probably gonna to wanna to beat your time each and every set. But what makes it even more unique is that I got on the Pet Fast Speed Training Band. So a lot of these drills, we don't only work the core, we start to work that posterior chain. We really hit those glutes. We really work the hip flexors. Everything as one continuous or one unit. So in sports, you are ready, you are primed and activated to go at the highest level. And you can only do it with just a few tools. And that's the speed training bands. That's the fit light training system. So let's woo -wee! go. All right, so today we're gonna to be using the FitLite training system. I wanna show you exactly how to actually program it so you guys can get the most out of the system. So I'm gonna be going on performance and training. It's so simple. So I just click that and then I'm gonna to go to the hand-eye coordination. And from here, there's only a few different uh, settings that you wanna have this on. So I like to have the distance anywhere between about th um, 30 centimeters to 50 centimeters. And on the ninth and 10th drill, then you wanna bring it down a little bit because you don't want the sensor to um, go off. Um, underneath your body. So most of these drills are gonna be away from you. So now it gives you a little bit more height in your hand to really get that sensor to react. Then from there, I do all my run time at 30 seconds. So that's really easy. Just either go up or you go down and depending on how long you want it to be. So if you're more elite athlete, you can be around that 30 second mark. But if you're really focusing on form and technique, then you can bring it down a little bit between that 10 and 15 second mark to really focus on you know, making everything perfect and precise. And then the, the lay time, I like to have it anywhere between 0 0.50 seconds, or if we wanna move just a little bit quicker, make it a little bit more reactive, a little bit more dynamic, then we bring that delay time to about 0, 0 0.5. So now we're working to be a little bit quicker reactive athlete. And I like to just work with all the lights. I really like to see all the lights and uh, it's always on distance. And if you really wanna be able to hear it, then we got the light beep on. But that's really easy. It's a really fast setup. It really takes no time at all. It's just plug, boom, boom, boom. Then you just press start and you're ready to go. So take your game to that next level, see the light, and let's perform at the highest level. Let's go. So the first drill is my absolute favorite drill. We always start off with it. It gets me primed, activated, and ready to go. It's our reactional plank. Think about this. In sports, it's all about absorbing, embracing under contact. So you got to be strong. You have to be ready. And you have to really hit those deep transverse abdominals. And that's what this drill does. It's our reactional plank. So this is how you're going to set up. I need your shoulders in line with your elbows. And I need your feet to be relatively in a good, wide, athletic base. So when we're wearing these speed training bands, that's gonna really activate the posterior chain, mostly those glutes. I'm gonna go for 30 seconds in this drill. So you're gonna see four lights, two on my right, two on my left. When the light flashes on my right side, I'm gonna just reach out, but really stay nice and locked and loaded and braced within my core as now I have three points of contact on the ground, my elbow and my two feet. So I really have the brace on that side that I'm reaching to. If it goes to my left, same thing. Let's get 30 touches here in 30 seconds. Let's see if I can do it. So you're gonna notice I gotta stay nice and strong. I gotta nice, stay nice and secure. I have to stay balanced. I have to stay ready to go, but I have to stay reactive the entire time. Stay in focus, my eyes are up. You see there's no dip or sway too much in the hips. I'm trying to keep everything level and balanced in an athletic position the entire time. So drill number two is virtually the exact same as drill number one, but just a little bit extra complexity to it. What am I adding? I'm adding in the push-up variation. So from that plank, now I'm gonna push myself up to a high plank, touch the light, and then come right back down. Makes it a little bit more dynamic 
and I get a little bit more shoulder activation. So I now I get to really work that shoulder girdle in a little more dynamic fashion and the core really has to stabilize, really has to brace and those glutes are really gonna get engaged because of the speed training bands. So I got 30 seconds to get as many touches as I can. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Press, I come up, I touch, I come right back down. So you can see, I gotta work a little bit harder, I gotta work a little bit faster, I have to be a little bit quicker and just a little bit more reactive and that's what I like. You notice as I come up, I gotta stay stable throughout the core, I gotta stay engaged, I gotta really be locked, loaded and ready to go. And look at that reach up right there. So I gotta, I gotta reach up onto those toes and really hit everything. Woo -wee. Look at that. Look at as I reach, ah, the core, the glutes, the shoulders, everything is activated in that drill. So drill number three, we get a little bit more spicy on this one. Now we gotta really be able to really work and I love it because now your vision has to work everywhere. This is our four point corner planks, meaning we got four points of contact. We're in our elbows and we're on our toes here. Now you're gonna notice I have to either reach out to my right side with my hand or my left side, but now I got the fit lights behind me. So now I have to reach out with that leg, which I absolutely love, because when you wear the speed training bands, this is really gonna hit that glute. So we're gonna go out into abduction. The other leg has to stay stable, because I'm trying to pull, and this one has to stay braced, locked and ready to go, because this one's gonna go over the light, gonna hit that glute, and it's gonna hit it hard. You got 30 seconds to get as many touches as you can. Five, four, three, two, stay locked and loaded. One and go. So I gotta feel it, I gotta sense it, I gotta trust it, and I have to trust that my body is ready for this type of work. Because this is how you get better. So your body is ready to take charge, it's ready to go, it's ready to make that game changing, electrifying, show stopping play. But you just gotta get it ready right here, right now, and that's what it's all about. You wanna be the best athlete in the world, it's getting yourself primed at all times. That's why I love this drill. It's a four corner plank reactional drill, love it. All right, so drill number four, we sprinkle on just a little bit more hot fire to this drill. It's Practically the exact same as drill number three, but I'm adding in just a little bit more flair. Let's a little bit more fire. So instead of being in just a plank position, we're gonna add in either one of two variations. The push up plank, okay, so we come up onto all fours, or I'm gonna do a more dynamic, explosive plyo plank, meaning I'm gonna then pop right up. And I love that because you get to be just a little bit more explosive and that's what's gonna make you to that game change electrifying athlete. Also, now when you're in that explosive position, you have to be able to stabilize this a little bit more on the shoulder girdle. And so then when I go to press out, it makes it just a little bit more challenging overall. So I'm gonna show you both variations. You're gonna to try to get as many touches within 30 seconds. It's gonna be a little bit quicker on this one. Okay, so really keep brace, breathe, but stay braced, locked and loaded the entire time. Four, three, get into the athletic plank position. Two, one, and let's get it started. So I'm gonna show you the first one. I'm just gonna go into that normal plank, push up variation. And as you can see, I have to really reach out for these ones. I gotta stay a little bit more stabilized. It's all on the top right now. Where's those bottom ones? Now let me show you a bottom one with an upper plank position. Ah, that's the explosiveness that I'm looking for. If you're that athlete and this, you wanna challenge yourself with a system that's gonna allow you to be a little bit more dynamic. It's a little bit quicker, a little bit more reactive. And this is what it's all about if you wanna be the best athlete woo, in the world. Let's go, that's drill number four. So the fifth drill is an absolute game changer. We know the body is a pivot point energy system and the core and the spine, it has to rotate. That's just how sports, especially dynamic sports, multi-directional sports, that's just how it's played. You always have to be able to absorb, load and explode and that's through a rotation. So it's, we're not always bracing. So this particular setup has two lights in the front of me and then two lights just inside, right beside my body. And what it's this, but this is gonna allow me to do, it's gonna allow me to be in a plank position, but then rotate and cross my knee and drive it across my body to hit that fit light if it's on my bottom sides. Now, I'm gonna start in just a nice brace core position, but then when I have to, I'll rotate, turn, and drive that knee and just pivot off my foot to kind of get there. I absolutely love it. This is a game changer. This 
this is gonna really change up the, the way that you move, the way that you groove in sports. You have 30 seconds to get as many touches as you can. We're starting in five, four, three, athletic plank position, two, one, and here we go. So you see here, I'm gonna drive, cross my knee, and you can notice that right there, and then that's where my core really has to engage, it really has to work, it really has to keep my body not only braced and secure, but now I have to swivel, turn, rotate, and use that pivot point energy system to gain energy, to gain, ooh, I went down low there. You see that? That's, that's what happens when you're not paying attention. And that's what this is all about. Reaction, paying attention, focusing on the task at hand. And that's why I love the Fit Light training system, because it keeps you engaged, it keeps you always working, but it keeps you focused and ready to go. So drill number six, now this one right here, you're gonna absolutely love, because we're gonna work on those side obliques. We're gonna be in a side plank kick. I like it because we're not only working the core, but because we got the speed training bands on, we're gonna be working on a lot of hip flexion, and that's gonna work those hip flexors, but we're also working on that glute. So it's working on basically everything that we need to get really ready to go for sports. So. Just like our normal plank, we're gonna set up into a great athletic position, meaning my elbow is gonna be in line with my shoulder. I'm gonna lift those hips up. I'm gonna try to hold this here the entire time. I have four lights that are gonna be set out in front of me. When they're activated, I'm either gonna to go to the first one, really kick that leg out. The second one, I'm gonna kick out third or fourth. So you notice, the further up and closer it is to me, the more flexion and more knee drive I have to get up there in order to get that leg to kick and um, um, turn off the sensor. So we got 30 seconds to get as many lights as we possibly can, staying in a good, brace core athletic position the entire time. Ready, four, three, two, one, and here we go. So we got that first one, second one, whoo, third one, oh yeah, buddy, oh yeah, you gotta absolutely love this. You see, I have to stay nice and braced, I have to stay nice and locked and loaded in the core, a couple of them are coming on at the same time, so this is forcing me to have to react quicker, I have to be a little bit more dynamic, my leg is just burning right now, the glute, the hip flexor, the core, whoo, they're all coming on, this is what, oh, this is what I want, I wanna be challenged, I want something that's gonna make me a better athlete, I want something that's really gonna force me to be in positions that are gonna be exactly the way it's gonna to be in sports and that's why I love the fit light training system get this get these bands on as well because right now my hips are burning give this a shot let's go all right drill number seven can't stop won't stop we will not let you off the hook because we just worked a lot of hip flexion a lot of work in the glute but this time we're gonna work those adductors so we're not only working that side oblique in that side plank but we're gonna be really working those adductors how let me show you so we're gonna be in a great athletic position and i and i always harp on athletic position that's what sports all about the athletic position is being in great form and technique the entire time so elbow in line with the shoulders but this time instead of really having to hold myself up in this bottom leg i'm going to hold myself up on the top leg i'm going to have a little bit of a bend in this knee so it's going to create a bit of a bow and i want to try to plant this foot and the toe wants to be as straight as i can and be on most of the foot not just on that inside edge let's get over and push on to the outside edge so we can get a great arch in that foot so we stay nice and protected the entire time. Now the same thing is gonna happen as last drill. I'm gonna take this inside leg now, I'm gonna work on that hip flexion, and I'm gonna be kicking out as the lights turn on. But all I have to do is turn them off, but at the same time, keep great integrity, and you're gonna feel this in that adductor. You're also gonna feel it in this inside hip. Whoo, a lot in the core. So a lot is going on, and did I mention, you're also gonna get a lot of shoulder stabilization. So let's start, we got 30 seconds to get as many as we possibly can. So in five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. Let's get this body right. So sports has always, always been about being very dynamic, very quick, and very reactive. And so when you're lighting up all these muscles and you gotta stay in a great core strengthening position, you're gonna notice that you're gonna be a faster athlete because you got more muscle groups working at once in a complete unit, all in synergistic, the way that would've been sports. Woo Do not stop until the timer's done. Come on, three, oh, it's done, two, whoo. Wow, guys, I can barely talk right now. As you can see, we're working on everything. Make sure every single round you're flipping sides and getting both of them. I see you in the next drill. 
All right, so drill number eight, I'm not just sitting down, I'm sitting down for a reason because this next drill is a Russian twist. But it's got a little bit more of a twist to it because now it's a reactional Russian twist. I got four lights, two in the front of me, two right beside me, and as you can imagine, my legs are off the ground. I'm trying to keep that chest nice and high, nice and proud. My hands come out in front of me, and if the light comes onto my right side, I'm gonna take both hands, I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna gain all that energy, coil it up, touch, come right back. If it's out beside my feet, I just take that foot and we get a little bit of abduction here. So you're gonna be working on hip flexors because they're in an isolated isometric position. But now I gotta abduct and really kind of reach out and get that glute and hip to fire at one as one continuous unit. So I'm already burning right now, but we're just gonna keep rocking and rolling on this one. So you got 30 seconds to get as many touches as you possibly can. We're gonna set up in five, four, three, Two, here we go. One, and let's get this thing started. We're gonna shout. We're really gonna work every little thing in our legs, our core, our shoulders. Look at me, I'm all over the place right here. <laughs> I'm dying right now, guys. But that's what it's all about. If you wanna become a better athlete, you have to push yourself to the limits, and you gotta have fun at the same time. That's what I love about the Fit Lights training system. It's something that's gonna keep you engaged. It's gonna keep you motivated. It's gonna keep you ready, coming back for more each and every time if you want to be that game-changing, electrifying, show-stopping athlete. Drill number eight, it's a game-changer. Let's go. So this next drill is literally the granddaddy of them all. I absolutely love it. And I know I've been saying this a lot. It is literally a game changer right here, right now. So I want you guys to really focus in because you're not gonna see this drill anywhere else other than with the Fit Light Training System. So I am gonna go into my sprinter knee drive. Now, the speed training bands allow you to get that hip flexion, but it allows you to be a little bit more explosive with that knee drive. Now, as I come up, I have to be reactive because I have two lights to my right, I have two lights to my left. So, if it comes up onto my right side, I'm going to drive up my left knee and I'm gonna then twist to either the furthest light or the one that's a little bit closer to me. So now I'm gonna really hit not only the rotation, but I get a little bit upper or lower obliques and so it's gonna make it a little bit more dynamic and I have to be more reactive to what side I'm gonna drive the knee accompanied with what side I'm gonna drive the arm. So now let's get a little bit more coordination involved. That's why I say it's the granddaddy of them all. So you have 30 seconds to get as many touches as you possibly can. Have fun, let's have a look. Ready, three, two, one and let's start this up. So I'm here. And if you want to make it a little more challenging, you can keep that knee off the ground with that foot. Ah, yeah, I really have to reach for that one there. It makes it more explosive, it makes it more challenging because you have to drive that knee up in relation to where that arm is, and it makes it more challenging. You have to really react. I absolutely loved it. Give it a try. Let's go. So drill number 10 is a high plank knee drive. And I'm going to this drill fast because it is a fast drill and we're only gonna be working on one leg at a time. So we're gonna be in that high plank position and we're gonna have the lights distributed about a fist distance apart in one straight line just underneath your belly button. And what makes this drill really dynamic, really unique, is that because I'm driving off one leg, so I'm really driving that knee up, it can be to my outside or it can be to the opposite outside that makes me have to rotate, twist, turn, and really hit those side obliques. So now we're working different angles. So we have 30 seconds to get as many lights as we can. These lights are gonna be flashing very fast. And I would advise that you have the distance at about 10 centimeters. So it doesn't hit your chest or hit your body before you actually get a chance to react with the knee. So we're gonna be starting five, four, three, woo! Let's get set up now. Two, palms in line with the shoulders, one, and go. That's it. You can see sometimes it goes in the same spot, so it makes you have to work a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, a little bit more dynamic, but we're getting that core to react, we're getting that body to react. That's 15 seconds done. We're gonna go to the opposite side. We're starting in four, I got 17 on that. Three, two, one, and here we go. There you go. You can see that knee having to punch, drive, rotate. Everything's working as one complete unit. And my arms are just burning right now. My shoulders have to engage and hold me up in this fast, dynamic fashion. Here we go. Wow, 17. So as you can see, my reactional skills, I'm in balance on both sides. And I, that one really challenged not only my core, but my shoulders to keep me up for that 30 second uh, time for both of them. So I absolutely love those drills. 
these drills right here are are made to be fun they're made to be reactive because we're using the number one reactive i believe stimulus system the fit light training system in the world and you guys are going to absolutely love it these are game changing drills i've been using them for years my athletes have been using them for years you know my youth my my high school my college and my professional they absolutely just every single session they got to pull this out because they because they're very competitive and they want to just be challenged and the fit light training system is going to do that so these are my top 10 core drills that are going to help you guys be quicker faster but more importantly more reactive i'll see you next time let's go